what happens when you connect a very powerful system like ChatGPT with a lot of existing open source models, especially vision models. That is exactly what we are going to discuss in this video. This is called Visual ChatGPT. This Visual ChatGPT is a tool that is developed and open sourced by Microsoft. The objective of this tool is to enable ChatGPT to talk to different vision models. For example, you have got a large language model for image creation like stable diffusion. You've got a large language model for depth creation. You've got a large language model for outpainting and inpainting. What if you put all these models together in one place and you make ChatGPT the communicator between these two models or all these models and then get a better result. That is exactly what a visual GPT, visual chat GPT is doing without having to build your own multimodal capability. You can use visual chat GPT to build such an AI system where you have got communication with text communication with image, you can get a text response back. You can also get an image response back. This is an exciting project. In this video, we're going to learn about the project. So first to start with, I would like to quickly show you the paper. So this is the paper, the visual chat GPT talking, drawing and editing with vision foundation models, visual foundation models. Before I even get into the paper, I would like to quickly show you the demo. They've got a demo that is running on um, hugging face spaces. It's running on E810G. As you can see, it's a powerful GPU. And the question that I asked, the first thing that you need to do is you need to paste your OpenAI API key. So after you paste the OpenAI API key, you can ask a question. Can you use this, this depth image to generate a cute dog? I actually did not give any depth image. So that's probably why it is messed up. I'm going to refresh this. And after I refresh this, I'm going to paste my open AI key, press enter. After I press enter, you can see that this is enabled, which means I can start asking question. I'm going to say generate a figure of a cat running in the garden. I'm going to click run and then you can see that it has started processing. While chat GPT helps in generating the instructions and prompts, all these actually the creation is happening using the vision uh, large language model. So we have got a cat running in the garden and this is the image name. So now you can ask questions like, can you replace the cat with a dog? Um, in my experience, sometimes it it worked fine. Sometimes it did not work fine. But as a concept, visual chat GPT is quite amazing. So, okay, here it worked. So we have got a cat and the cat has been changed into a dog. Now, this is an impressive thing. So before I go with more demos, I would like to quickly show you what is in the paper. The paper is called visual chat GPT. And the, one of the reasons that they have created visual chat GPT is because chat GPT is a very powerful system. What happens when you make chat GPT the center of a lot of large language models and make chat GPT communicate with them. And you can see that the model, the system called visual chat GPT is primarily created to incorporate different vision foundation models to enable the user to interact with chat GPT. How do you enable them? One, you can send and receive not only languages, but also images, which means you don't have to send only text. You can also send an image and ask for ask, ask for some response back. So you can also provide complex visual questions and visual editing instructions that require collaborations of multiple AI models. So different types of models are there. We'll actually see what models are available. Different types of models are there. So you can ask for complex instruction. Like for example, what I just asked is, Keep the same image, just take the cat out and put a dog back. And that is exactly what we ask. Providing feedback and asking for corrected results. So all these things are possible with Visual Chat GPT. Now, if you want to know more about Visual Chat GPT, the first thing that you need to know is how does it work? So first you have got Chat GPT in the middle and yeah, you've got a lot of visual foundation models or large language models. The user generates a query. For example, I can say instruction goes to the prompt manager. It goes to Chat GPT and the Chat GPT creates the prompt and then it does all the things. Then you have got a lot of vision models and it communicates with the vision model and get the response back or the image back. And then the final image is shown to the user, human user. And what kind of vision models they have got? Blip, um, stable diffusion, pix to pix control net and image detection. To go deep into understanding what vision models that they have got, you can see the vision models that they've got and the kind of memory that these models take. So here is a list of memory usage of each vision large language model. So you have got image editing model that requires four gig RAM. You have got instruct pics to pics for text to image, image captioning, image to canny, canny text to image, image to line, image line text to image. So all these are actually control net related models. Scribble to text, image to post, post text to image, image to seg, seg text to image, image depth. All these are actually control net related model. 
then you have got visual question on answering image to normal and as you know the main thing what we just did with the cat and dog is primarily from image instruct pix to pix model so they've got all these models and all these models are sitting in the middle of chat gpt and chat gpt is communicating with this all these models and trying to get things done for you if you want to run this on your local machine first thing you need to know is you need a lot of gpu to run this thing let's assume you have a lot of gpu then you can literally use this code like literally you can use this code and then you can start running and how much do you need so you need at least um, for example if you are going to use collab then you can specify what model that you want to run so like we discussed there are a lot of models that are available so all these models will take a lot of memory so it it requires like a tesla v132 gig memory machine if you want to run all these models but if you do not want to run all these models if you want to run visual chat visual chat gpt with specific model or specific use case then you can run the code like this python visual chat gpt.py and then load a specific model then it can help you run it on environment like google collab so i'm not going to show it on google collab but this will invoke a gradio interface just like this then you can start asking question like in fact like you can upload an image i can upload an image and then say uh, can you describe this image so let the let the image get uploaded and i can say can you describe this image and then i can send it it's let's see if it actually works so we are asking it to describe the image that we just uploaded which usually probably might be using blip or something to actually see the image and then describe what is it it didn't work in this case but generally this is exactly what happens when you upload an image and ask it to describe so overall this is quite an impressive piece of technology and uh, it's also impressive because the paper is quite clear and the model is available as um, the the entire visual chat gpt is available as a system on github please make sure that you start the repository you can go to hugging face model hub or hugging face spaces and then start searching for visual chat gpt so when you search for visual chat gpt you would see a lot of spaces and all these spaces are actually trying to use a particular set of visual model you can use chat gpt or open apa and communicate with this system so overall what they are trying to do here is they are trying to build a multi model a system where you can chat with image chat with text and the multimodal system but without having to build an exclusive multimodal model take the capabilities of chat gpt and combine it with other existing open source models that's exactly why they are doing it with hugging face and then leverage that open source foundation models or large language models and make chat gpt the communicator between all these things and get the response and send it to the user back it works quite fine um, in most of the cases i would strongly encourage you to try it out by yourself and then let me know in the comments what do you feel about visual chat gpt kudos to the microsoft team for one more exciting ai open source project see you in another video happy prompting